Samson, which in turn handed off to Joe Cashman, trailing Burnsville and John Marshall. Um, Burnsville ended up winning this with a 333 flat, and Otana and John Marshall tied to 334. Otana placed second in an advance of state, and there's Cashman and Dave Grant falling out the finish line. Uh, like I say, Otana did play second in advance of state. This is the girls' 1600 meter run. Jenny Dunham running that. Next race is the boys' 1600 meter run. Andy Norquist was in that for Oatana. And this is Greg Potter for anchoring the 400 meter relay for Oatana. Next event is uh, Sarah Parks in the girls' open 400 meter run. She plays first in advance of state. She had the best time in state. This is a, one of the big races of the day. Bill Stock and uh, Pat Schultz. Schultz beaten Stock by about five yards at the end. It was a great race, a big one for Pat. Next race is Rick Schroeder and Tim Warner in the uh, 300 intermediate hurdles. This is Tim Warner turning it on right at the end. Schroeder just trying to get him, almost catches him at the end. Both of them advance the state. That was a great race. There they are getting their awards right there. This is Jody Newlib in the girls' 800 meter run. She plays first. That was a great race too. She advanced the state. This is uh, next race coming up will be John Killen, Joe Cashman in the boys' 800 meter run. John Tuma from Lakeville ended up winning right there, and Killen came from behind with his famous kicks and beats Cochran to advance to the state state meet and uh, Bloomington there are the awards right there next race is the Ma relay for the girls we start out by Jolie Mosier who handed off to or Lisa Westfall excuse me with then to Marie Wirt and finally to Sarah Parks who anchored it for the for the girls the next is the Boys my really, that was Pat Schultz with the opening leg there, handing off to Dan Sampson. That was a great race there. And off to Willie there, bringing it in strong, who ends off to Tim Warner, our anchor man. We ran a heck of a good race there and finished first for Owatonna, advancing the state with 323.9 in the mile relay. Excite excitement reigned in the air. The fans were going nuts. This is a big day in OHS history. As the first time in the track history, the boys and girls took both the uh, first place spots in the Region 1 AA track meet. It was a great day. And both of them had their victory laps of the day, too, also. Presentation of the trophies to the Region 1 AA champs. Next is the state meet. In the preliminaries of the sprint medley, this is uh, Greg or Willie Randall handing off to Greg Podarf, bringing it in and handing off to Dan Sampson here in the third leg. And this is Cashman getting ready to anchor the sprint medley preliminaries. This is on Friday. That's Duluth Central, right next to Watana there. Beautiful handoff. Cash and bringing in the first lap. And then the final lap. There's John Marshall right on his back. They ran, Otana ran a 338 in the preliminaries on Friday. This is the um, girls 800 meter relay here with Sarah Parks anchoring there. This is the sprint medley finals. This is Dan Sampson running against Red Overton there. Overton bringing it in, handing off. This is Sampson handing off to Cashman in the finals, trailing Minneapolis North. Coming in then for the End of the race, it will be Burnsville winning first place, Minneapolis North second, Armstrong third, and Owatonna fourth place finishing that race. The next race will be the final in the girls' 400-meter run. Sarah Parks 
finishing it off there. And then the big race, the boys 400 meter run. Red Overton winning it. Pat Schultz placing fourth in that. We go on to the boys 300 intermediate hurdles. Tim Warner finishing third in that one. And then the boys 800 meter run with John Killen running this one. John places sixth in this race. Move on here, Dan Sampson running his leg of the 1,600-meter uh, relay, handing off to Willie Randall. Look at him go. He's looking strong. This is Willie bringing it in here. It was really a tight race. Owatonna knew they had to play second to win the championship. First or second place would have done it. Handing off to Tim right behind Wyzetta there. Warner with an awesome run, bringing it in, closing that gap. Just missing to edge him out at the end, placing second. Which everybody knew gave Oatana enough points to win the team championship for the second time in OHS history. Oatana with 33 points, winning the state double A championship.